are back. The giant Highland cow, the red lantern, and the vampire. <laughs> The best of the best of the yeah. best. <laughs> Individually, you may not be good people, but you're doing good things. Sonic, uh, which sonic. Is cock slap. Just... <laughs> you buy a hedge trimmer, two pitchforks, and a child. <laughs> <laughs> You dance to like a little bit of golden light flows into the tombstone and he goes, Oh, that tickles. <laughs> hey, oh, easy there. Whoa, mama. And like a full face pushes out of the tombstone now and is like recognizably uh, Patrick O'Brien. I um, I walk to the back of the tombstone and using my horns, I kind of like do that thing where cows do on like foot scratching posts. <laughs> and the <laughs> ground just... starts popping and bubbling. <laughs> Are you saying your dick's worm sized? No. I get very I... deadly serious and go, either take this serious or I'll find a creative use for that mouth. I'm a tombstone. If I take this seriously, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But if you can give me some information or anything helpful, I won't stick my foot in your mouth. I, okay, listen, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting the crack, yeah, nobody but here we the are. Crack, my friend. Uh, where is the alien coriander? Isn't that a type of vegetable? Is that that... little click. I've disabled the traps. Come on, Ian. Oh, it just Plastic the door closes the doors. <laughs> <laughs> now, what brings five auspicious-looking gentlemen to some... Maybe low Anglican, maybe Orthodox Church in somewhere in Russia. Uh, anyone who wants to, make an insight check. Yeah, uh, definitely, um, our, uh, Kaleem, this guy is like a brother to you. You, <laughs> vi you vibe with this guy. <laughs> and you realize he has chewed his fingers down to the knuckles. Uh, on a 19, this guy's batshit insane. How did you Absolutely do that? insane. Also, have we lost someone from Discord? Am I going crazy? Uh, did, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. I'm going insane. I am going well, insane. I'm sane. I'm the sanest person. I was always sane. Me going insane. That's a conspiracy. Conspiracies are all around us. Shh. And he puts his like one of his. And I approach him fingers. and just like slap him across the face. <laughs> You're going to slap him as he puts the stub of his finger into Kaleem's mouth, and he goes shh. Stuffa, oh, oh. <laughs> and he sits up. Stuffa, you, you gotta help her. Well, she, where? Um, so we need to help Stuffa. Where is she? She took a hit to the head. She took a blast straight to the face. Had a base near here. Resistance base. So anyways, I'll grab, I'll grab in the closest shovel and start grave digging. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy gets it. <laughs> Those four of us. So, I tried to fight. I ain't much of a fighter. <laughs> you said there was others, so it was you. Patrick O'Brien. He's out in your graveyard. I beg your damn pardon. Patty! <laughs> From the graveyard. Question! You see, uh, the tombstone sort of grows a hand and waves. <laughs> um, she she got eight. She got um. The black stuff went in. Oh god, I can't say that. Wow. Okay, <laughs> well then. <laughs> and again, you hear screaming from underneath the cemetery. I think he tried to make a construct out of her. And you can see the lesser restoration is starting to wear off as he starts to like gibber. And... You wish to die? I need yours. <laughs> And she starts to stand up. I need you to die. If you can talk, you can think. And if you can think, you're a thing. And if you're a thing, you can die. Up there. Should we make it surge? Should we go like... I want you, I want you. I want you. Uh, can I cast hold person on yeah, her? Go, go for it. Finally something to kill. We are going to go into initiative with just me and Pat. The rest of you are able to break that door down. This is why Plastic Man doesn't love you. <laughs> Dick! Give me your death! Give me your death! Give it to me! Give me your death! Jesus, is that... Fighting your fucking... Yo. <laughs> uh, 19 to hit. I cast shield. 
uh, misses completely. The teeth latch onto the metal. <laughs> and it's just guttural, visceral noises. Nice. <laughs> My man here. Jesus. I can bonus action with a flame blade. Point yeah. finding who it is now. <laughs> How dare you attack the daughter of General Sam! And go to like punch into your eyes of her thumbs. <laughs> Pocket Sam! <laughs> Pocket Sam! <laughs> I don't need over. Pocket Sam. Right, it is Dan's turn. <clears throat> right, by break through the door. Dan, to be fair. <laughs> Fuck you, run through walls. I do not vibe with this door. <laughs> <laughs> I do not vibe with this floor. <laughs> Only Wait, hold on. Is it the wood plastic man? So isn't that technically plastic? Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah for the first time, baby. Um, the, the church is not plastic, man. The tombstones in the cemetery are plastic, man. Oh. I, that is a sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> the tombstone is plastic, man. Again, in the courtyard. <laughs> the sounds of violence erupting from the cemetery. Mm -hmm. The question goes, No, don't let him hurt her. What? I mean, we, we, we're pretty clear, none of us are heroes here. He runs to help the speedster, not on my fucking watch. <laughs> so you guys are like wrenching on the door, trying to open it. You see the question is like fumbling with a set of keys, runs at the door, and you all wince, expecting a sickening crunch, and he just hits the door and like in slow motion, vibrates through it. On the other... Well, I've got a, uh, a submachine gun. Can I get close? <laughs> Why the fuck does the speedster have a submachine gun? <laughs> the speedster oh. arrives at the crit. Oh no! Oh well, rattle them, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Forget, I oh, these sessions can go from zero to a hundred. Speedster out of speed. She ain't in her. She ain't herself. Neither are you, question. Take a you psionic know? blast of yes. mine. Intelligent! Cannot be that high. No, never have I been more motivated to advertise and find two fully paying players than I have been right now. <laughs> Somebody get rid of them. Get them out of here. Relocks the sort of the chains that she has been bound by. Everybody back up, back up, at least ten feet. The Grayson I... kid, he put a construct <laughs> in her or something. As you guys, you're taking an hour to rest. Uh, Let's take a little rest ourselves. <laughs>
Mad Mary? They call me Mad Mary, but I'm not mad. I'm just sad. All right, can I do a perception check around house to see what I can find? Yeah, sure. Uh, you don't need it this time. You've already been invited. Oh, marvellous. Uh, you don't really see a whole lot out, outside of what Kaleem saw. Um, the broken door from the inwards, um, the damaged room, the fact that someone was definitely being kept prisoner here, essentially. To inspect the uh, dolls, pick up the doll. Uh, as you pick up the doll, it's squidgier than you expected, Dress. So, in the room yeah. is you, Mary, Borealis, Kaleem. So that's four, isn't it? Uh, Dan and Clockwork, so six. There are six organics in the room. Scanning, looking for wherever the sixth organic is. The scanner doll. Question, the doll is bleeding. This doll isn't uh, like a children's doll. It is made of stitched together human skin. Gears. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Nat 20. God. <laughs> well, that's five nat 20s this session and two nat 1s. But no, still. And I have yet to roll over a 10. <laughs> Did it come? Back when he was alive. This is like really high level stuff you i will say because you did roll high even with disadvantage i will say this isn't like a one-off as sickening as it is to say doing this especially working with and i'm gonna <laughs> say something unpleasant here a, a material as clumbersome and unhelpful as human skin um which dries very quickly in certain conditions and certainly doesn't boil well to a lever um would have taken a specific form of artistry. Bob speaking Isn't... from experience. Bob speaking from research into certain <laughs> tribes. <laughs> Bob speaking into oh, research. He wants you to believe. Yes, quite. That's that even Bob? some of the depravity. worst villains. Yeah, depravity. That even some of the worst villains don't achieve. Even Atrocitus let people die quickly if he could. But usually they telltale signs that he's around. She looks down at the doll. What do you think, Blinksy? And then... Uh, Can we gather up a mob used to raid the house? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go in with a civilian mob? <laughs> yes. <laughs> simply reads Bill Drift's Merchantile. Um, it also <laughs> flickers in and out of reality and reads Costco. What can I do you for? A periwimple? Can you bring out some of the area stuff? And you see a big looking lad walk out this man uh, is on drugs um however you detect a very strong foreign substance in his veins do you have a bunch of pitchforks uh, yeah i'm gonna, gonna make a mob and he gestures <laughs> you through the shop which is literally just boxes on shelves of like random crap he's accumulated onto the pitchforks a spade a, a lawn trimmer right, so... please don't form a mob they'll all die <laughs> well it's just the civilian with the trimmer. It's just really funny. <laughs> the big lad steps up behind you. He's bulky and he goes, The edge trimmer goes, Burr. Some pretty okay. extensive drugs in this system, but your scan completes, not steroids. Is it venom? It's venom. It's, yeah, again, if you call it, I'll allow it. It's, it's Bane venom, which is why. Just imagine <laughs> your family being known as the family who stood up against that damned house. They would make a lot of population in this town. Roll of a set persuasion check. Give him a token and a statue. Oh mark. god, yes! <laughs> 22, baby! Dad, I want to punch the house. I recognize now that actually you're not my son, you're my nephew, because I just quickly checked the, the book. However, <laughs> we're locked in this now. Son, um, you are my son. He goes, make a persuasion check with advantage. He'll be my son now. He, um, he goes, I'll tell you what. You buy, as a team, you buy me two more pitchforks for your civilian mob. I'll hand over the adoption papers to Perry Wimple to you now. And he brings out a pen. What? I'm confused. I'm confused. I, don't, I don't think this is legally like I can do this. <laughs> no, I got him from theft. You're trying to steal what I have rightfully kidnapped. Go hey, any process. opportunity I mean, to quote the Princess Bride, all right? Finally, um, a feast with common sense. Lays out a... Uh, Yay, Daddy! And hugs Borealis from behind. Should, should we have allowed thing. this? I don't think we should have allowed I this. I don't think... 
Don't you speak down to me, my boy. <laughs> I, do I make a player character? You clearly I... underestimate Lenny. <laughs> I'm mean... so fucking bamboozled. Hang on. So, you buy a hedge trimmer, two pitchforks, and a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Can I fun. make that the title of the episode? <laughs> but yeah. You didn't expect me to adopt someone this session now, did you, boys? <laughs> Discuss amongst yourselves for two seconds while I make the item. Getting <laughs> back on topic. As you guys... No. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> walking out. You know, in slow motion. First, we have the speedster who in slow motion is walking at normal pace. Uh, for everyone else. <laughs> the red lantern. The camera's panning back. Clockwork comes in next with swirling light. Then comes the vampire, and then finally Borealis, holding hands of a man triple his size. Daddy, are we going to the scary house? And as the camera pans back fully, we see a black, burnt building that looks completely devastated and destroyed. See, it's already been. We'll call it there. But not before nice. I introduce you to your latest member of the party. Yeah! <laughs> Perry Wimble, everybody! Yeah, look at him! <laughs> give him one trimmer. session. I give him one session. <laughs> Catch us all back up in a bit. Ciao for now. I'll fade us up. Okay, thanks. See ya. Cheers. See you next week. Bye. I think you go see Waylord.